We are in Long Island, New York, and we're about to check out a 3D printed home. Nah, you can't destroy it. <laughs> I'm gonna build a robot that builds houses. Three people with a machine in 17 days can 3D print exactly what you see here. 3D printed construction, it is going to change the world. My name is Matt Garland, NMLS number 58700, better known as MG the Mortgage Guy. I had to bring in an expert. He's doing 3D printed homes. Charles, the handsome home buyer. Welcome to the channel, my brother. How Thanks, are you sir. today? Appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me. What is a 3D printed home? Bro, 3D. So it's not even limited to just homes. It's 3D printed construction. It is going to change the world. There's nothing uniquely different or special about a 3D printed house. It's a regular house, four bedroom, two bathroom, wide line ranch. What's different is the cost to build it, mm -hmm. which is up to 40% cheaper, and the way it's built. Three people build an entire house. You bring the machine over, bring it there, and assemble it in half a day. And it just 3D prints. And what we do is we 3D print the forms, the footing, the slab on grade foundation, the interior walls, the exterior walls, and the roof. Whatever you can dream up, we can 3D print. Circles, jagged edges, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. This thing could go 24 hours a day if the municipality allowed. We've been printing till midnight in certain places. If the neighbors don't care, we're going. Machine doesn't get tired, doesn't sleep, doesn't need to eat, doesn't not show up because it was drinking the night before. It just goes. All right. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> like, hey, hey, hey. All right. All right. Hold on. So you got the 3D printer machine. Yes. You still have to do your architect's plans. The machine is reading the plans. So it's like, how does this work? To get, without getting too technical, an architect comes up with a design. SQ40 is the company that invented the machine. They turn it into something called G-code. G-code is basically just points, longitude and latitude. And then it just it goes into the machine and you press a button and it just it just starts going. It's like an airplane. You put it in the coordinates, basically. And it just, and it just goes. And it just goes. Just like a regular 3D printer. If you're gonna print a, uh, a phone case, you'll, you'll put the coordinates in and then you'll go to sleep and you'll wake up the next day and there's a phone keys there. Same concept. So when the 3D printed machine is going, there's three people. There's somebody there who's running the machine, who's basically just making sure that it's moving fast enough or not too fast, right? The flow of concrete is good. Then you'll have uh, a mixologist and then you have somebody doing general labor just to make sure that there's enough Portland and sand and water and everything is cool. So you have this concrete look on the walls. The kitchen looks like it's coming out beautiful. I see you got tiles. Yep on the wall, so you can't really tell that it's 3D printed over there. So I'm assuming over here, I can kind of do whatever I want to yeah. kind of, if I didn't want to have this industrial type of concrete yep. look, right? We did it like this to show people how it comes together, but it's super versatile. For example, you see the way this wall curves? You yeah. can't do that with traditional. If you're gonna build a traditional stick-built house, 22, 2,500 square feet, mm -hmm. you're looking at six months normally. Minimum. Something like this, three months, half the time. So half the time, 40% cheaper on the light items that we do. And again, if you want, if you are a landlord and you want to make sure you have the concrete floors, you don't want to put the sheetrock up, mm -hmm. you're saving more money. You're saving more money. So you build this 3D house, <laughs> right? You basically have a shell. Now, do you need insulation? Yes. So this is the coolest thing. You hear now, I don't know if you hear, but a lot of people hear about, um, you know, something called R value or mm -hmm. they want to have the most energy efficient house. Yeah. So what that basically means is 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 the depth that you have between the exterior wall and the interior wall is as much insulation as you can fit most houses are built with two by fours and maybe two by sixes correct if you had a two by 12 house you would have an even better r value if you want an r100 house we can do it we just give you sufficient space to fill it up with the insulation where you can achieve that r value so you can basically get the most energy efficient house in existence put radiant heat in the floor concrete conducts so you have like this cocoon of heat. Once we do the roofs, it's basically everything gets heated. You have the, um, the, get, the bigger the gap between the wall, the more insulation you have, the more energy efficient it is. And like you said, you can't hear anything. So your savings has to be like incredible compared to building the traditional way. If you're a builder who's building to sell, if you're a builder that's building to rent, that's where the savings come from. Especially now, if you're a builder, everybody knows commodities are a ton of money, wire, wood, yeah. shingles. Concrete is not going up in the same way. This is three things. This is water, sand, and Portland. You can get it at Home Depot, you can get it anywhere. There's nothing uniquely different or special about the mix that we have here, right? So if you're building your own house, on the parts that we 3D print, which is foundation, interior walls, roofs, you're saving 40%. So if you blend that over across the rest of the house, 
you're saving a lot of money. How is this going to hold up when you have inclement weather? I always joke around. I'm like, what's going to last more longer? This house in Islandia or the pyramids? I don't know. Probably, <laughs> probably the pyramids, but insurance companies love us. Why? Concrete doesn't burn. Concrete doesn't get flooded and, and you know rot. Concrete doesn't get eaten by insects. Feel that? 9,000 PSI concrete. It doesn't burn. Doesn't matter if water hits it. Insects can't eat it. So nothing can happen. This is virtually indestructible. So a freaking missile can hit this bad boy. A bomb could go off next door while we're talking and we won't hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So how fast can you do a house? Depends on the intricacies of like bedrooms and square footage and all that. But in general, a, like a 15, 1600 square foot house, if we're really dialed in. We can do that in 16 print days. 16 print days. So like, yeah, we're up between two to three weeks. Let's say with weather, 30 days, we're gonna have forms, footings, foundation, interior, exterior, wool, roof, done. Sealed up, ready to go. For a typical 3D printed house, I'm an investor. Mm -hmm. I have an old house. Mm -hmm. I wanna knock this old house down and I wanna do some 3D printing. Mm -hmm. How much is that gonna cost me? 2,500 square foot house. Builders right now are probably spending in New York like $175 a square foot. A 3D printed house, if you're not going crazy with the finishes, you're in the low hundreds. So you're talking anywhere from really 25 to 40%. Now, listen, if you want to put Viking appliances and then put hardwood floor on top of it and go real wild with $15 a square foot tiles in the bathroom, you can make it very expensive, but it doesn't have to be. It can be less expensive. More importantly, it's a better product. Better product. It's a better product. Cheaper product. Cheaper, less expensive in the sense to produce, but way better in terms of quality. Are you guys gonna flip this or are you gonna yep. keep this as a rental? So this is gonna be market ready in about two weeks. So just after the new year, mm -hmm. we'll be 100% done. It'll be the first house that I know of that's just openly listed on the market, ready to be sold, speculatively built, not pre-sold. And any buyer can get a regular mortgage on this. Conventional, FHA, VA, there's no restrictions on financing. Absolutely. Well, how much is the house selling for? So this particular house can be listed at $499.99. So a half a million dollars, basically, for a 3D printed house here in Long Island, New York. Yep. I would live here. <laughs> Tooks, would you, Tooks, would you live here? No, nah, this is, this is, this is actually, I'm impressed, bro. It's going to take about, I would say three years for this to really start to hit mainstream. The first thing you do is you go to SQ4D because that is the company. Go to the website, sq4d.com, check out all the videos, get educated, see what's happening with the technology. By the time this hits three years later, it's going to blow your mind. I'll tell you something else, which is sick. This is how these guys got me. So I go there. If you're a homeowner and eventually you want to have one of these houses, you design it in virtual reality. So I walk into the office. My buddy throws the goggles on me. He's like, sit down. All of a sudden, I'm in the street outside my 3D printed house. Mm -hmm. I'm walking up the block. I'm walking up my driveway. I'm opening the door. There's my couch with my TV. Sit down on the couch. Look around. 2,000 square foot house. He's like, you want a 2,500 square foot house? Yeah. Presses a button. The house is bigger. You want to move that wall? You want to change that paint color? You want to order the furniture for your house? everything in virtual reality, bro. So in the future, a realtor is gonna sit you down, put these goggles on you. You're gonna find your plot of land somewhere, put the goggles on. What do you want your house to look like? Paint colors, call up Raymore and Flanagan. This is the furniture, everything. And three months later, it's gonna be there. Exactly the way you designed it, exactly the way you walked around it, down to this piece of furniture in your house. The future is, is now. I'm at a loss for words, and I'm really never at a loss for words, Charles, <laughs> but this is just mind-blowing. Tell them how to find you, Charles. Handsomehomebuyer.com. I'm on every social media platform, obviously, out there. Handsome mm -hmm. underscore homebuyer. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, I'm out there. I'm very easy. I'm very accessible. Hit me up with a DM. You have any questions? I'm happy to help everybody. Look, there you have it, guys. Shout out to my guy, Charles, the handsome home buyer. I hope you guys got a lot of gems from this. And so make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and download MG The Mortgage Guy show everywhere you listen to podcasts on audio. All right. Peace.